In this video, I'm going to introduce a new AI coordinator in the town called as Trey AI. And Trey AI is owned by the same company behind TikTok. So ByteDance is the company behind this new AI coordinator. And the best part about Trey AI for now is that it is completely free. So it's basically like a VS Code fork similar to Cursor and Winsurf with added AI capabilities. So you could go ahead and use Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-40 within Trey AI all that for free. So Trey AI is currently in the beta phase and as long as it is in the beta phase, you get to use it for free. And today in this video, I'll show you how you can download, set up and start using Trey AI and also build cool, awesome web apps using the platform. So without wasting further ado, let's jump straight in. So this right here is the official website of Trey AI. And the first thing that you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and just visit this page and you'll be able to download it for your computer. And as of now, Trey AI is available for both Windows and Mac OS and support for Linux is coming soon in about, let's say, a couple of weeks. And if you go ahead and click on this download option, you should be able to download the installer. And once downloaded, you can go ahead and install it like just you would do with any other software for that matter. And this right here is the interface of Trey AI. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you want to, you can just go ahead and read all the features of Trey AI in here. And now that I've already installed the same, let me quickly go ahead and open it up. All right, so there you have it. So this right here is Trey AI. And as I mentioned earlier, Trey AI is yet another VS Code fork similar to Windsurf and Cursor, just like them. So it has that all cool features and added AI capabilities. And initially when you open it up for the first time, you first you need to go ahead and sign up for a new Trey AI account and log into the same. And after that, during the initial onboarding flow, you'll be asked if you want to import all the settings and configurations from Cursor or VS Code. And you can just go ahead and import all that. And once you open it up, this is going to be the interface that you'll see. So first thing first, we'll go ahead and open a folder in here. So I'll go ahead and let's say drag and drop this folder right here. And now we can start working. So I can click on trust folder and continue. Yes, I trust the others. Okay. So similar to, I mean, a lot of these things within Trey AI is similar to that of Cursor. So here we have a chat mode and also a builder mode. So chat mode is the same chat mode we get in Cursor and the builder mode is similar to uh, Cursor Composer. So if you are in the builder mode, you can let the AI create and modify files. So let's first start by creating, let's say a simple website, create a habit tracker website and I can go ahead and click enter and before that if you notice you have an option to select these AI model that you want to use for now in the builder mode you only get cloud 3.5 sonnet but if you move to this chat option right here you can select between 3.5 sonnet and also gpt 40 for now I'll go ahead and select 3.5 sonnet and click on the send option and now Trey AI is thinking and it will go ahead and create whatever stuff that you asked for using Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And the best part about using the builder mode in Trey AI is that the AI will go ahead and create all the files, will initialize the project and do all that stuff for you. And all you gotta do is to maybe, as you can see here, we have NPM create beat at the rate latest. And if you click on this run option, it will automatically go ahead and run that particular uh, command on the terminal and it will do the rest, okay? So you can go ahead and interactively build your applications. And next up, we need to install a couple of necessary dependencies. And obviously I'll go ahead and click on run. And now that will be taken care of as well. And once that's done, you can, the AI agent within Trey AI will guide you through what, what you should do next. And you can continue from there. For now, let me wait for it to install all these dependencies. All right, so everything is pretty much done. And it says, let's examine the current project structure to understand what files we need to modify for implementing our habit tracker, okay? Now it is updating the main.js file inside the SRC folder, I believe. So yeah, here we have it. And okay, if I want to, I can click on this review button and I should be able to view the full code. Maybe I can make it a bit bigger like this. And now you'll be able to see all the codes that the AI has added and also deleted, highlighted in red and green. And now it is creating a new component called habitform.jsx. So let's wait for it to complete coding all the components. All right, so pretty much everything is done is what I guess. So if I want to, I can go ahead and review each individual files that the AI has created. And if everything looks good, I can go ahead and click on accept all button and all the changes will be saved. And now I can go ahead and run npm run dev to view the preview. So let me run that. Okay, so seems like we have an error in here. So before that, Okay, so the AI has detected the error and it is now fixing the same. So let's wait and we'll take it up from there. All right, so I can click on accept all again. Okay, let's try to run it again, maybe. Okay, and another cool thing about Trey AI is that you'll be able to view the preview of the app that you built all within Trey AI itself. 
So as you can see, you can, I mean, obviously you can go ahead and visit this local host and view it. But if you move over to here, you can find an option that says web view and you can find a full screen preview of the same here as well. Okay. So as you can see, localhost 5173, but it seems like we have a couple of these errors. So I'll go ahead and copy the entire error code like this. And I'll say, I get the following error when I run the app and I can attach the same, hit enter. And let's wait for the AI to fix the error. And after that, we can go ahead and view a preview. Okay, accept all, run, npm install again. Okay, so the error is fixed. So I can run the development server and maybe open it up in a web view. Okay, so here in the web view, we can view a full screen preview. So let me go ahead and add something, something, add habit streak completed okay i don't know how this works but yeah i mean you get the point right so you can go ahead and ask the ai and here we have created a habit tracker app using tray ai and another cool thing about tray ai is that similar to cursor you can go ahead and add a couple of files to the context so if you click on this context icon right here you can go ahead and add code file or folder for example if i click on file i can select any of these components for example let's say habit list and if you want to you can go ahead and ask maybe change the bg color to something or similar fashion you can just go ahead and do whatever stuff that you want to or even if you want to let's say attach images and converse with the ai tray ai has option for that as well so you can go ahead and add image and ask the ai to build something similar to that one and again if you go ahead and click on this uh, extension store right here you will be able to install all the extensions from open vsx so here we have a couple of these extensions and you can install it in a single click all right and now if you want to chat with the code you can go to the chat mode and next up, you also have yet another tab called Copilot Edits. And if you click on this one, it says Ask Copilot, sign in with your GitHub to use GitHub Copilot. So yeah, you can basically use GitHub Copilot within Tray AI as well. And so this is basically how this whole Git, uh, Tray AI thing works. So it is pretty similar to that of, I would say, Windsor for cursor. It's uh, basically a VS4, VS Code fork with all that added AI capabilities. And now let's just try to upload, let's say, attach an image, then ask the AI to build a landing page similar to that one. So let me quickly go ahead and find our image. So now I went ahead and opened a new folder in Tray AI and I'll move over to the Builder tab and I can drag and drop this image to the input box right here. So basically this is the image that I've uh, uploaded or attached to the AI and I'll ask, okay, build something similar to this one. So I'll go ahead and say, create a landing page similar to the image attached. Keep all the elements exactly the same and also uh, keep the colors same as well and i can hit enter and let's see what the ai can do so it says i'll help you create a landing page that matches the provided mutual funds investment website design i'll structure it with html css all right so let's wait so it is now creating all these files and components and once everything is done i can go review the code if i want to uh, click on accept all and run the development server or view the preview within the web view mode and yeah let's just wait for it to complete coding the same all right so it seems like the AI has created both the html and css file okay so i can if i want to i can go ahead and review all this uh, code so here we have the css file here we have the index.html file and now i'll go ahead and click on accept all and if i go ahead and say i want to preview the page and hit enter it will open the same in the web view within Tray AI and I should be able to see a real-time preview. So let's wait for it to load. Okay, so the AI is thinking. All right, so this right here, so I can click on run. And now it will uh, start a server in the 8000 port. And if I click on this open web view option, I should be able to find a preview in here. And let me put it in full screen. Oh yes, so this is what it has generated. Okay, so as you can see, it has got that curvy design, a couple of cuts. It's not exactly 100% accurate or anything, but yeah, it's a good starting point. And maybe I can also show you the exact image that I uploaded. So this right here is the image that I uh, gave the AI, and this is what it has generated. Hmm, not bad, right? I mean, you can go ahead and add all these images and make further changes and customize it the way you like it. So yeah, that's pretty much all about Tray AI. So nothing fancy in here. Uh, pretty much everything looks same as cursor and windsurf 
and it's not as featurish as cursor or wing surf but gets the job done and you get to use cloud 3.5 sonnet and gpt 40 for free and i don't know how they are able to you know sort of afford to uh, let people use cloud 3.5 sonnet for free and again if you come over to the chat page you can go ahead and use let's say gpt 40 and i'll say how to install tailwind css hit enter and now the ai will use gpt 40 and it is giving me all the prompts and commands and all that and i can click on this run button and i can run all that command in a terminal window and there you have it okay so that's pretty much it and now as you can see in the tray ai documentation page it says note the beta test for tray ai begins on january 20 2025 and during the beta test period tray is available to all users and you can use it for free so it basically means that tray ai is free for now and you can use it to code whatever sort of application that you want to and you can freely use cloud 3.5 on it and gpt 40 for free but after try is out of its beta you know phase i guess they'll start charging and they'll introduce all these plans and pricing similar to cursor and winsurf until then you can go ahead and start using the same so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and to get started all you got to do is to click the first link in the description below or head over to tray.ai and you can download and install it on your computer and if you are a linux user you can wait for let's say couple of weeks if not days and they should probably release the linux version and you can start using it the same as well so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one